Let us do an example with upscaling of an adsorption column. A small scale experiment using a 10 cm long column with a diameter of 1 cm is fed with an inflow with a concentration of 150 mg per litre. The density of the adsorbent is 1000 gram per litre and the feed flow rate is 20 ml per minute. Choose a breakpoint and scale up to a 40 cm column with a diameter of 4 cm. Then calculate the degree of utilization and the average concentration in the outlet of the small and the large column. So this is the breakthrough curve for the small column. We see that the saturation time is approximately 70 minutes. To find T star, we draw a vertical line such that the area below the breakthrough curve to the left of T star equals the area above the breakthrough curve to the right of T star. Note that when we calculate the area above the breakthrough curve, we only count the area up to the line representing a concentration of 150 mg per litre, as that is our inlet concentrations. It seems in this graph that T star is approximately 52 minutes. We calculate the capacity of the column by multiplying the feed flow rate F with the inlet concentration and T star. We get 20 times 10 to the power minus 3 uh, liters per minute times 52 times 150, which gives us 156 milligrams. To be sure, let's check the units. Liter per minute times milligram per liter times minutes gives us milligram. Okay. Regarding the breakpoint, we haven't been given uh, any definitive criteria in this task, so we are free to use our own judgment. We see that the concentration starts to increase pretty early, at approximately 20 minutes, but that it really starts to grow off after around 40 minutes. So let us choose TB as 40 minutes. The utilized capacity at the breakpoint is approximately F times C0 times TB, or 20 times 10 to the power minus 3 liter per minute times 40 times 150, which equals 120 milligram. We get an approximate degree of utilization uh, of 120 divided by 156, which equals 77%. And a length of unused bed as LUB equals 1 minus TB divided by T star times the length. That is 1 minus 40 divided by 52 times 10, which gives us 2.3 centimeters. The 120 milligram of utilized capacity is a slight overestimation. Some of those 120 milligram has flowed out through the outlet, but how much? The amount in the outlet is given by the area under the breakthrough curve up to TB. That area is approximately the same as a triangle from T equals 30 to T equals 40 minutes with a height 9 milligrams per liter. And we multiply that with the feed flow rate to get the unit milligram. So 20 times 10 to the power minus 3 times 40 minus 30 times 9 divided by 2, which gives us 0.9 milligrams. The average concentration in the outlet is the amount divided with the volume that has flowed out. And that volume is simply the feed flow rate times TB. So 20 times 10 to the power minus 3 times 40, which equals 0.8 liters. We get the average concentration as 0.9 milligrams divided by 0.8 liters, which gives us 1.1 milligram per liter. When we now scale up, we need to assume that we have constant pattern and make sure that the linear flow velocity in uh, meter per second stays the same, such that the length of the unused bed stays the same. The area is larger in the larger column, so we need to increase the flow rate. So V equals F1 divided by A1, uh, but that should also be F2 divided by A2. And with a circular transaction uh, and a diameter of one centimeter in the first and four in the other, respectively, we get F2 equals F1 times A2 divided by A1. So uh, 20 times 10 to the power minus 3 times the square of 4 divided by 1, or 320 milliliters per minute. Length of unused bed, LUB, is the same as before, 2.3 cm. T star is proportional to the column length, and since the length increases from 10 to 4, 40 cm, we get our new T star as our old T star 52 divided 
by 10 and multiplied with 40, so 208 minutes. Since the difference between T star and TB is constant, our new breakpoint is 208 minus 52 minus 40, or 196 minutes, which gives an approximate degree of utilization of 196 divided with 208 or 94% much larger than the 77% we got for the small column. But we were interested in the average concentration also in the large column. Since the breakthrough curve looks the same, the area on the breakthrough curve uh, remains the same, but we have to multiply with a new flow that is 16 times larger. So thus we get 16 times 0 0.9 milligrams, which is 14.4 milligram. And the volume that has flowed out is now 320 times times 10 to the power minus three liters per minute, uh, then times 196 minutes, which gives us 62.72 liters. And our average concentration then becomes 14.4 divided with 62.72, which is 0 0.23 milligrams per liter, which is much lower than the 1.1 milligram per liter we had in the small column. So what we see here is that with the same breakpoint criteria, we get a large increase in degree of utilization and a large decrease in average concentration in the outlet.